Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you guys are in the world right now. I am honestly excited to film this video. I, I feel kind of nervous talking about this topic, but I know that it could help someone. Even if you haven't gone through the same or similar situation, you can still apply the exact same things I'm about to say to whatever you're going through. So I've got some tea grab a snack, grab a cup of tea or coffee, and let's get started. My fitness journey hasn't been an easy one. Um, I started working out when I was 15, so 2015, and I didn't know anything. Let's be real, you all have to, everyone has to start somewhere. I didn't know a thing. All I knew is that I wanted to look like a Victoria's Secret model. I wanted slim thighs, really defined abs, um, really thin arms with no fat. And it was just a very toxic mindset that I had. It was all about looks and it wasn't really about how I felt. So in 2015, I found the incredible Blogger Lattes YouTube channel and I still use her videos to this day. Right now I'm mostly using my own workouts, but when I need a challenge or I just am not in the mood to create my own workout that day, I will follow her videos and I still love them. The issue wasn't her videos, it was my mindset. And I was doing HIIT and cardio literally six to seven days a week, like no rest just hit cardio, not eating enough food, not fueling my body with what it needed, just focusing on burning fat. And it did no good to my body or my mind. My relationship with food and fitness, I would say was toxic because I wasn't really happy with myself. I was just focused on one goal, which was getting as small as possible and thinking in my head, okay, if I get this size, I'll be able to be a model. It's just not realistic and it's not what happened. I ended up restricting foods, feeling depressed, anxious, just overall unhappy. I, yeah, it's kind of scary to think back. I will also insert some photos right now to where I was in 2015. Um, yeah, it, it upsets me to think back because I know that, I know what I was thinking then. My boyfriend just came out to get a snack. <laughs> we both live together and we're doing uni online, so it's just like, our schedules are so random right now. And my dog is just walking around. I don't know what she's doing. Anyways, I could not remember where I was, but basically, what I was doing wasn't healthy and I wasn't happy. I had the completely wrong goals, the wrong mindset, and yeah. Also in 2015, I met my boyfriend who, this is the thing that was different to everyone else. He never told me that I had a problem. He never told me I was too skinny. He never told me I was anorexic. He never told me I had an eating disorder. The complete opposite to what everyone else told me. So, he, I guess he knew I had some issues with food and fitness, but he never said it directly. He kind of indirectly helped me by just encouraging me to enjoy, you know, a dessert with him, or having a movie day, you know, movie days, popcorn, sweets, normal, right? You just, I honestly can't even explain how it happened, it was just so gradual. I don't think this will help everyone, but it's what helped me, because I felt like small, I was changing small parts of my life without without changing everything in one go. It's not the perfect way to do it, but that's just my story and that's 
what ended up working for me without me even realising. I have also been with him for five years now, so obviously he done something right and I apparently done something right. <laughs> Skip to 2016, this continued, it was kind of a loophole of me just going from, okay I eat something that I would enjoy like a cake or pizza but then later on I would do so much hit to compensate for what I just ate and burn off those calories as quickly as possible. All I was focused on was how many calories I was burning, which was just obviously no good. Um, so that continued through 2016 and basically cardio and exercise was a punishment. It should never be a punishment, but it was. And on the, when I restricted so much, it ended up in just days where I would, or like an hour where I would just binge all the cookies and chocolates that I wanted. Um, now, I do not restrict, I eat whatever I want, but this is very balanced, and it's balanced quite naturally. I do crave things like chocolate and sweets because I like them, but, and I have them when I want them, but I just, have quite a balanced diet, I enjoy every meal that I eat and I don't restrict. 2017 I kind of stopped thinking about modelling as the career path that I was going down and it just kind of seemed like something that wasn't going to happen and it also changed in my mind, it wasn't as, it didn't seem like a glamorous or healthy path to go down. So. That's when I slowly realised that I actually had a problem and I wanted to get past it. And through 2017, 2018, I started weight training. Not often, but I did start weight training at the gym and I enjoyed it. I'm guessing that my form at the start was all completely wrong, but even to this day, especially now since I'm doing my personal training course, I'm just learning so much every single day and it's exciting to learn. But it's also okay to be a beginner at something. So if you're just starting the gym now, don't feel ashamed if you're not lifting heavy or maybe you're, you don't know if your form's correct because it's okay to ask for help when you need it, right? And it's okay to learn. You're in a learning process and you're not going to get something perfect the first time you do it. I also think that a lot of girls and women are scared to lift weights. I was too, and I know a lot of people that are in real life. Do not be scared to lift weights, ladies. You are not going to bulk up all of a sudden. You're not going to look like a male bodybuilder. There's actually so many benefits to training upper body, your chest, you know, your legs, your abs, everything. There's so many benefits to just having a balance in your fitness routine and training all the muscle groups. Currently, I am happy. A lot has changed in my life and my fitness um, and my relationship with food. I'm very happy overall. But would I say I was recovered? I get asked this a lot and I would say that I'm recovered to an extent but those thoughts do reoccur and sometimes if I'm having a cheat meal or you know one of those days, sometimes negative thoughts creep back in, but I always remember how far I've come and I just push them out the way. It's not easy, it's easier said than done, but you just have to remember where you are now and where you want to be in order to change your life for the better and maintain that lifestyle because it's all great getting somewhere, but you need to be able to maintain that lifestyle that you're now living and also adjust as you go along because you're constantly growing and changing as a person. Well, I think you just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. I do have a routine in place. Like I have some weights at home because we are in lockdown right now and I'm not sure if I will renew my gym membership, but I got some weights. There's so much you can do with your body weight or small weights so you can buy it like Argus or you know Amazon but yeah
off topic if you guys are at the stage where you need to make a change or you want to make a change whether it's small or big you need to think about what exactly you want what are your goals where do you want to be and what are the steps to get there write all of that down and it will become much easier and clearer how you can do this my message to my younger self and to you guys at home is that you need to love and take care of yourself you don't need to look or be like someone else to be happy because this will not make you happy it's okay to be selfish and remember that you are enough enjoy the food that you eat and do not restrict there is no point regretting a meal after it's already been done enjoy the food and don't think back to it just enjoy the moment whether you're alone with your friends just just find pleasure in the food that you eat you can still have a balanced diet and be super healthy and look amazing whatever your goals are and enjoy the foods that you want patience is key and there is no quick trick there's no quick results it takes a long time and dedication to get there but working out and food should be about how you feel more than how you look the looks are the bonus and there's nothing wrong with wanting with wanting or achieving certain fitness goals just make sure that your mind is in the right place therefore it's all about balance balance with food balance with fitness balance in life make sure that you're socializing you're doing things that you enjoy but the most important thing is your happiness if you're not happy then you're not going to live a fulfilled or successful life so just make sure that you're working on yourself for you not for anyone else just become just work on being the better version of yourself every single day so overall what i'm saying is fuel your body with good food keep active with activities you actually enjoy don't force yourself to go to the gym you can do plenty of other activities at home or outside set short and long-term goals and understand what you need to do to get there make sure that you're realistic if you plan on working out four times a week make sure that you set out time slots and have your workout planned so then you're more likely to complete that workout and also with food it's really great having plans throughout the week if you just do if you set aside one day a week where you plan out everything you're going to buy in your weekly shop and then have that what you're going to cook each day that will be so much so much faster and really helpful for you guys especially with saving time thinking about what am i going to eat because i'm not going to lie i do this a lot and it's something i should be more organized with and lastly it's okay to have setbacks we all have bad days and you will get through them even if you feel like you won't just remember why you started and where you want to be and believe in yourself because you can definitely do it let me know if you enjoyed this video and be sure to check out my instagram and tiktok down in the description below if you're interested yeah thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day guys